And a lot of this information is just coming in. We're working on, on confirming all of this information to give you the most accurate picture as to what's happening. But these images that we have been seeing of, of the, the passengers who were, were driving by, the eyewitnesses, uh, have really been able to help us kind of be our eyes, if you will, on, on, on what's happening out there. Uh, so you see the big fireball and you, and you see the plane just engulfed in flames. That fire is now out. That's the good news. So they've made a lot of progress here in the last hour. The fire is out, uh, but the highway is shut down and can be shut down for at least 24 hours. But you can just see how intense that was. One of the eyewitnesses we talked to mentioned how hot it was mm -hmm. just driving by it. So you had the, the fire, you had the ex so a couple of explosions that we could see from some of the video, and then uh, extreme temperatures for even people who were driving by who were on the other side of the highway. Yeah, and the sight of this, I mean, think about when you're on US 41 and you're anywhere near Page Field mm -hmm. and you see those planes going low on approach into Page Field, um, you know, how incredible that is and to see a, a plane of that size um, overhead on I-75. Right, yeah, and, and uh, mm -hmm. Wes, who was talking to um, uh, the folks over at Fox Radio, was saying that it went right over his car, and then he could see it out of the rearview mirror when it hit the wall. Okay, we're getting some information that's confirmed that there were the, the, confirmed by the FAA that there were five people on board the plane. Uh, we do not have any information at this point as to whether there are survivors. But again, five people on board the plane. That's confirmed by the F, uh, or by the FAA. Um, and then obviously we we know or we think we know that there is at least one pickup truck that may have also been involved. And we do not know anything about how many people were in the pickup truck and if those folks are OK. Uh, one of the early witnesses said that there was substantial damage to that white pickup truck. And I think at the very end of this video is when you see the white pickup truck uh, that has this right there in the median. It goes by pretty quick, it actually stops, but right there uh, is the pickup truck that appears to have a lot of damage. And that may have also been involved, may have been hit, or maybe just gotten an accident trying to avoid uh, the, the jet that was uh, the landing on I-75. Yeah, the official statement from the FAA right now, and it doesn't say much more than what you just said, Russ, but it says this information is preliminary and subject to change. A Bombardier Challenger 600 jet crashed on Highway I-75 near Naples, Florida around 3.15 p.m. local time Friday, February 9th. Five people were on board. The FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board will investigate. The NTSB will be in charge of the investigation and will provide any updates. Um, they do give the aircraft registration number in that, N823KD. All right, we're also getting some information that uh, uh, Hoppa Jet is also trying to work uh, to, to uh, visit with families and try to determine exactly who was on that plane. So there's a lot of, 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 of trying to piece together exactly uh, what has transpired. And that this is going to be looked at from every angle for quite some time. And that's why the highway is going to be closed for a long time. Uh, but what we know from eyewitnesses is that the plane was going very low, that it may have scraped some of those trees. And uh, okay, here's another angle of it. This is uh, then on the southbound side, someone who's going by. So this is even gonna be a little bit closer than some of the other things that, uh, some of the other witnesses that we have seen. You can see fire uh, in the grass over there. I saw leading up to uh, the crash. And then there you see the, the, the flames right there uh, on the right-hand side as this car goes by. You can see at least two different areas where there are flames. This guy looks like he's going to stop and get out mm -hmm. and try to help people, perhaps. Um, oh, oh, he saw an explosion, saw explosion right explosion. there. Oh, gosh, you hate to see that. Um, and then we can kind of see some of those from the distance. We don't know if that's like fuel, perhaps, that, uh, mm -hmm. that then had caught fire and, and then led to that explosion. But we saw several people in some of the video that were trying to run, looked like they were trying to help people over there. And then that explosion happened. You saw people back away. Uh, hopefully, uh, there was no one that was hurt in that. Uh, but that is a really up-close view of what happened uh, as it was transpiring. Again, this was about an hour and a half ago, right at 3.15 uh, is when we're hearing from the FAA that when this uh, explosion and, and crash landing happened. 